Welcome back DIYers. It's another edition of your Average Joe's DIY Show. We finished building our deck, okay? We uh, talked about everything that we were gonna do with that, and so this is a job that's complete. But one of the things that we'd like to talk about that's not often covered with a lot of DIYers is uh, home safety when you're working with power tools. So today we're gonna go out back, we're gonna look at the compound miter saw and a table saw, two tools that are often misunderstood by DIYers. And we'd like to talk about the safety things that are required in order to keep yourself safe because at the end of the day, we not only wanna finish our good projects like this, but we wanna go home with all of these. And that is a very valid concern for a lot of DIYers because when you're afraid of a tool, you tend to make mistakes. So we wanna alleviate some of that fear Build your confidence and make it so that when you're working around your house, you do it safely, you do it with confidence, and you do a good job. So we'll be out back talking about that. So let's go over there and take a look. Come on. All right, welcome back. We've made it to the backyard. We're at the 12 inch uh, sliding compound miter saw. We've talked about that during the construction phase. And we talked about the important safety aspects when using these rotating power tools. The initial ones were obviously we need eye protection and we need hearing protection. We need to make sure that our safety features like our blade guards are also in place. But on top of that, for DIYers who don't do this all the time, I'm making several mistakes right now that I don't want you to make in the future because I want to keep you from being hurt. I've removed my tool belt. I don't need my tool belt right now. Um, on a construction site, that's a little bit of overkill, but those are professionals who do this a lot and they're very hyper aware of the safety aspects. Uh, for DIYers, we also have something that people don't consider is I'm wearing a little bit of a necklace right now. I like to wear these funny little things. I've got my turtles. Both of these need to go or be tucked in. This has definitely got to go, and I would suggest taking off your watch. A lot of times on construction sites, I don't wear my wedding ring because I've seen what happens if this gets caught. So we don't want to have that happen to you. Okay, so right there, that's the end of the production value. Uh, just an example of what I can do. Um, these are all my own tools. I built a lot of the stuff here at this house. The deck we were just on, I built myself. And I have a lot of experience, not only with acting and uh, modeling and commercials, but I have also a lot of experience with these tools. Because like I said, they're all mine and I know how to use them. I've been using them for years. So if you need uh, more of a resume, please let me know. And otherwise, uh, let's get back to the show right now. And that's an example of safety with DIY Joe's message in a minute. And we'll see you next week. Thank you.